What's up guys, Zetman here of Royal Seek Entertainment. And today I want to talk about something a little bit different. And this is related to video game controllers and some things that I'd like to see done differently. And this is specifically talking to the third party video game controller creators. Let's get into it. So by now I, was, I assume that many of us have used the third party controller um, either from GameSir, which is the control I used in a previous video or a uh, Razer or any other company. And I feel like uh, these companies do a great job when it comes to creating these um, video game controllers. But there's one thing that I feel has not been done. And I like to call that a master controller. So what do I mean by master controller? Well, let's have a look at a uh, program that I use called Synergy. Now Synergy, it's a uh, company where you can use a wireless mouse or keyboard to control multiple devices, uh, computers specifically. Um, and when I look at this uh, company, because I use it for work um, often, so when I look at this company, I'm like, okay, uh, there is a way that I can use one mouse, one keyboard for multiple devices, specifically computers. There, in my opinion, should be a controller that you could use to play, uh, games on multiple devices so what do i mean by that because i know some of you i may like may think like uh well how would this work and i'm glad you asked <laughs> this will work because um what will happen say for instance you pair the controller with your playstation 5 and then you pair it with your nintendo switch later on this device that i'm speaking about will allow multiple devices to be paired to this controller so, you pair it with your Switch, you pair it with your PlayStation. What if you turn your PlayStation 5 on, or your Nintendo Switch, or your Xbox Series X on, and now you have this one device paired? Most people would think like, okay, well, where would it go? So, with this controller, the way that I look at it as being created is that once the consoles turn on, if they're turned on at the same time, you'll have a dialog box pop up that says, which console would you like to control? So, and it'll flash across, like if you have multiple uh, computers or monitors, whatever you, you're using, as you use a controller, it will actually select the console, like say for instance, you select PlayStation 5, it will select the PlayStation 5 on all of them. You'll see it actually present itself on all of them through the dialog box. Once you select the PlayStation 5 console through the dialog box, that's when it's thought it just only works for PlayStation 5. If you decide that, okay, well, I want to move on to play my Nintendo Switch and your Nintendo Switch may still be on. What you do, you'll have like a button on the controller where you can click and then the same box will pop up, which console do you want to control? and you select the switch, boom, goes to the switch. And the same thing applies for PC. Which one do you want to control? Press the button, boom, it goes to the individual devices, one at a time. And I was thinking like, okay, if a third party uh, company did create something like that, I would call it a master controller. Um, make it, to me, like when I look at the PlayStation 5 um, Edge controller, it's a really good controller and um, I feel like if they make a controller as uh, quality or premium as the PlayStation 5 Edge controller, I think this right here will be not only a game changer, but it will be a winner for most um, people who um, tend to want to use, you know, just one controller for all uh, consoles without actually having to unpair it. And that was my whole reason why I thought of this idea is because, you know, there are times where you know, I would play my PlayStation, stop, you know, turn it off, go to the, go to play my Nintendo Switch. Then I want to play my Xbox, but I have to switch these controllers. If I had one controller that can actually um, control all the devices and also make this controller, controller able to, the buttons to be mappable. You know, if the uh, buttons are mappable, that would be great and save a lot of headache because we know that Nintendo is a bit different from a lot of different controllers that we currently use. Whereas I'm like, you know, you have the A and B button on there. It's a little, it's different. It's different from most uh, controllers that you use. So you may be using, like, let's just throw out 
the uh, X and the O's on PlayStation. Let's throw out the A and B's on and all the, you know, the um, letters on these cons console controllers. Let's throw that out. If you just go specifically on muscle memory, most of the time when you play Xbox and PlayStation, even when you play PC, natively, the buttons are similar without actually having the same um, symbols for them or letters for them in some cases. So if you can button map it to where it's still convenient for you as, cause like I know when I'm playing PC or I'm playing my PlayStation, the uh, button, you know, I get kind of thrown off with the A and B button because it's different on the Switch because I play my Switch. So if we can map that those buttons to our liking, I think that'll be very helpful. But um, I think this is a good idea, and I think if most companies would pick up on this, this could be a, a definite game changer. And I don't want it to just put, um, you know, other companies out of business because, you know, PlayStation is designed for PlayStation. Their controllers are designed specifically for pay PlayStation. So I'm sure they offer something a bit different as opposed to other companies, just like Xbox is dedicated to xbox so this will be like a wild card for the game controller uh business but let me know what you guys think do you think this is a good idea to have a master controller maybe razor can do it maybe gamester can do it but do you think this is a good idea and is this something that you would actually use in your day-to-day -day life when you're playing video games let me know in the comment section below my name is edmund of artistic entertainment thank you guys for watching this video until the next one i'll talk to you soon